Hey, welcome to Dr. Pat TV, and we're looking at functions and models. So, how are you? We can actually apply mathematical concepts and applications and business and real life kind of things. And when we're talking models, we're talking math. We're not talking runway kind of things or you know catalog kind of models. All right, so mathematical modeling, basically we're taking real life situations and we're trying to come up with a way to represent those mathematically speaking. So technical terms for me, it's a formula or graph used for an application. So that's kind of how I perceive modeling. Um, you get you get your more sophisticated kind of uh, definition there, but basically we're just kind of um, graphing these things, formulas used to do our calculations, make predictions, those kind of things. And so I'm just kind of made up a little dorky example to get some of our business examples down, our business modeling that we have. We have some terms that uh, are used in your econ and your accounting classes. So let's get those down. So the first one, uh, first case I've got here is I've got uh, a revenue graph and a cost graph. And we're looking at my uh, daily, kind of a daily average in terms of how much we're bringing in and how much it's cost me to keep the uh, keep it open. And so our first question is, what's the total revenue for the first nine hours of the business day? I'm looking at nine hours here. That's my uh, my domain is uh, zero to fifteen. So looks like my little cafe is open fifteen hours. I'm looking at nine here. This is a running total. So when we look at this uh, vertical distance here, it's basically all of the nine hours previously all added up together. And so, hey, it's a graph. You got to eyeball the thing. So I'm thinking somewhere around what, twelve fifty? Yeah. And so that's what I have as my estimate. Could be twelve forty nine. Could be twelve forty five or twelve fifty two. I'm not really sure. I'm just estimating it from the graph. And then another question would be, is how much the fixed cost for a cafe? Fixed costs are those costs before we even open up, before we do any sales. It basically does not matter um, how much we produce, how many uh, lattes I make. Your fixed costs are going to be basically right here at zero. So at time zero, there's my fixed cost right there. It's that uh, y-intercept. It's the y-value at zero before we produce or do anything, and I'm estimating that to be somewhere around 500. Again, I'm estimating it could be 495 in real life, but uh, I'm just going to give it a good estimate of 500. Looks like right in the middle. And then what's our marginal cost for the day? So marginal cost, that's slope. That's how things are changing. So hour to hour, how are things changing? What are my sales doing? What are my costs doing? In this case, uh, it's cost. So marginal cost, the slope. It's a straight line, this total cost graph is. Straight line. So that just basically means I can just pick two points off this line and calculate my slope. And so it looks like I'm picking from 0 to 6 there. Nice two good points. 0 at 500 and then 6 at 800 there. And so just doing the change in cost over the change in time. And that's basically $50.00 per hour. So my cost, I'm uh, all kinds of costs like uh, the cost of the milk, the cost of the coffee, the cost of me having somebody there, my barista. And so on average, it's about $50 per hour for this situation. Okay, so $50 per hour. Marginal cost. How my cost is changing. Then I've got total profit. Profit is the difference between revenue and cost. So hopefully when revenue is bigger than cost, like on the right hand side here, when revenue is bigger than cost, I'm making money. So that's a profit. And then you could have a negative profit, basically losing money. And that would be on the left hand side here. So we're looking at the end of the business day. So I'm looking at the vertical distance between revenue and cost graph graphs. And I'm once again just eyeballing that vertical distance, giving an estimate. I'm thinking around two hundred and fifty dollars. So that would be my profit for the end of the business day. And so one last example here: Starulis. When we break even, break even is when do we start making a profit? For what quantity? For what time period do we start making a profit? And that would be right here the intersection of revenue and cost. When revenue equals cost, or when profit starts becoming positive, that's what we call break even for our situations. And so I'm estimating this somewhere just uh, probably about right there, a little after four, so maybe 4.1. Again, just eyeballing it, estimating it. And so that's when we're breaking even. So after, it takes me about four hours, a little over four hours to break even so that I can actually start earning a profit.
Okay, thanks. I uh, hope this helped. This is just an introduction to those business terms, to those models that we have. Thanks and have a good day.